Hello, my lovers. Welcome back to another episode of What's Your Packin'? Today, joining us, we have the Reverend Doctor Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Hey, Silky. Hey, Michelle. All right, so now that it's just me and you. Me and you. Two girls, you and I. So you came on this show. Mm hmm How many times did you audition? That was my first time. Ew. OK, you came on this show. Well, I, let me rephrase that. It was my first time auditioning on time. Uh... I've auditioned twice, but I sent my tape in late, and it wasn't complete. But this was the first time I got everything on time, and it was early. You do realize there's a cutoff date for a reason. I know, girl. I thought I was going to be so sick, and then they'd be like, come on, Silky, anyway. <laughs> ain't work for me. So you but got this it But my in. first time. You mm -hmm. got it in on time. And what did you think when they called you? Girl, I was preparing for Miss Continental Plus at okay. the time. Okay. And I got that call, and I said, at Continental this year, I'm just going to be beautiful. I ain't going to win this pageant. I'm just walk in there. Did you still do it? I did. The, oh, I did it. Because you were beautiful. saving the money for the stuff for Drag Race? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, because I already spent the money on cut dental. I just wanted to be beautiful because I knew this was going to come with a lot of obligations, and it wouldn't have been fair to Continental to go there, win the pageant, and then be like, Deuces. You Continental girls and Continental Plus girls, you know how to handle yourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I know Roxy Andrews was one, and critiquing her is one of my favorite things. And, and girls that can take critique are usually the pageant girls mm -hmm. because you hear it all the time. So you know how to stand up there stoically, whether you're mad as hell or not. You know I did it a lot, girl. You'll never show it. Uh, yeah, no, I had I had my issues with you along the we way. Know. Do, I know. Did you feel it? Could you feel it? Every time. Mm -hmm. And did you hear what I was saying and understand it? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. What didn't you understand? Maybe I can make it clear now. Oh, we going to do that. I'll do it. For me, I'm like a funnel. Sometimes y'all gave a lot, and it just takes me a lot of time to process it and get everything. And so it was that one particular challenge where was the family resemblance, everything that y'all had told me in the past that was wrong, I tried to make it my duty to fix every little thing. And that was not the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like, Silky, you already got a bitch that can't walk in heels on side you. Why are you trying to fix your own problems and have her problems? Mm -hmm. So I was destined for disaster, but God is good. Yes, God is good, amen. Yes, he is. Is this competition what you thought it was going to be? Yes or no? I didn't have any real expectations going in. Did you not? You've watched it. I've watched it. And um, you've watched it and you said, oh, I can do that better. I can do, you know. No. You were OK? I, I, I saw it. It was, I had my favorite. Um, but I never shunned the girl away um, for what they was doing. I shunned them. I judged them more about what they said and how they acted towards one another. Because we say that drag is a sisterhood. But then we get the opportunity to be on television and we cut the up. And I don't necessarily agree with that. It bothered me, because I, I don't like tit for tat. Like, if you need something, I'm going to help you. If I need something, help me. Um, so I never judged them based on what they did. I just knew, for me, I never compared myself to anybody when I did drag. Like, I'm silky. Um, if I compare myself to anybody, I became Michelle. I didn't come um, to shake the table. I came to break the table. Right. That was always my goal. Like. Honey, I ain't got time to be worried about you because I'm not going to look like you. Um, I may not have as much money as you, but everything I have, I made or I paid for it myself with my hard-earned money. So, like, for me, coming on this show, I was just like, every moment you get on there, you show them silky. And you be the best silky you can. Um, even though you may fall, try to have a good face with it and come back harder the next time. It got you to the final four. Uh, did it do it, girl? It got you to the final four. OK. And how you feeling about that? I'm still trying to process it. Mm -hmm. I'm still processing it. Like, there was a few things that happened on the show that bothered me leaving that I didn't think would bother me. And I'm trying to, like, process all of that and prepare myself to show the best Silky at the finale. I love that. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about some of these looks that you... Uh, Let's go on here, girl. Ruff, OK. This quintessential drag um, jacket type of thing. Mm -hmm. The this, ruffle coat. The ruffle coat. It's a pageant. Um, 
it's it's drag. Mm -hmm. I, this has been RuPaul has worn this a few hundred times. This is a this is a drag staple. Mm -hmm. And I think this I can't really see what's underneath. Is that um, it's a rhinestone bodysuit? Is suit. that a, a nude illusion under there? Mm -hmm. Rhinestone bodysuit. Cat suit. Cat suit. I, it's one thing I love about you and about the big girls that represent who they are, is not shying away and not hiding, mm -hmm. but taking pride in who you are yeah. and letting us all know it's okay. Mm -hmm. We have to love ourselves in the skin that we're in. Absolutely. If we expect to have any time on this earth worth living. And I love that you go out there full glory. I okay. really do. It makes me happy. Thank you. And I'm not going to say that more than a nude illusion bodysuit. Okay. That's why you put the coat over and you walk out. Then you go to bam. You got it all, baby. Although it's my skin tone, not your skin tone. Well, under it, I always wear a darker theme to make the mesh match. So, but you won't see that on there because they ain't got it. It's on a white her. mannequin. Yeah. Why it got to be white? Uh, Panther. <laughs> How about this? So. Explain to her. You see the fly, which you call the roach. 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 Yeah. Roach. I'm trying to get my endorsement for Ray still. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, I had this gown remade of a replica of one of my favorite entertainers, Whitney Page, who's no longer living. She's a plus size entertainer. And when she won Miss Continental Plus, she won she wore a gown like this. Aww. So I had it remade in her honor. So That's I'm happy amazing. To be here too. And you still wear the roach hat with her? No, that's what I was gonna wear that day, but you probably was gonna still read me. No, I love it. It's fun. It's actually really fun, and when you see it up close, but um, on the main stage, it didn't read that mm -hmm. way. So when that happens, that means, okay, we have to do things bigger to make it read mm -hmm. in a different, that's all that means. Yeah. Tell me about this beautiful color. It's just a page of gown about, girl. It's real heavy. <laughs> Real, Lots you of can't crystals. see the shape in it right now, girl, but when I put it on with my shape, uh -huh. oh, girl, you know they like it. Uh-huh, that feels right out. Mm. <laughs> it does. Listen, yeah. you feel, I feel it out, too. Okay. This dress doesn't look like this on the hanger. Uh, I feel it out. Girl, don't we feel it out? That's it. Yeah. I ain't no skinny bitch. Silky Nutmeg Ganache, you have been such a joy. I had so much fun watching you, and you brought Rue a lot of joy, too, so it made me fun. Thank you. All of us loved watching you. I loved when you listened. I loved when you heard what we were trying to say, because we would never, ever try to dim your sparkle or dim your light. We just wanted to make you sparkle and shine even more. Oh, thank you. I am so proud of you getting into the final four. Thank you. Good luck to you, darling. Oh, no. Don't f*** it up. Yes. And we'll see what happens at that finale. Hold on one second. What? We were forgetting the look. What? You Girl, I brought about... a whole nother look. What? Where is it? I got the silky signature roll. You know my, this is my, when I walk in right there. Okay, show us your look. I feel real skinny right Great. here. Mm -hmm. And I put this on right here. And you I know got... it clashes with your headband. Thing. It does, okay. but that was my other signature thing. See, I had to bring in different colors that you know. I got stem. Are you going to be selling, it's going to be your merch? Ooh. Is it a towel? I like the way you think, girl. Is it a bed sheet? It's a scarf, honey. It's they said scarf. it was a scarf, a towel, a bed sheet. Oh, it's like the... It'd probably be my uh, sheet for the water bed. It's, it's set all in one. Yes, I got you. Yes, but you know, I, my signature, I put these on because I lost my hat on the first day. So I was cutting up fabric. What you mean? You lost your hair. Girl, I lost my hat because, you know, my hair. You want to see what's under it? What was under your hair? Girl, you sure you want to... Girl. You got a little Latrice Royale ponytail under there? <laughs> it look like a thumb, girl! Yes, it was on the show all the time. And you look gorgeous. You look and gorgeous. And I am, I know, thank you. And I'm so proud of you, honestly. It's not about me right now, Silky. It's, it's about not, us. It's about you. No, it's about us. Let it's me tell you why it's about us. Okay, please. Let me tell you something. Because we've got 20 more minutes. So we please. sure do. Well, I've been here all day waiting. Yeah, they might as well wait now, right, honey. Okay, go. go. Let me tell you what we tell got. Tell me. It's about us because this team is bigger than life. Yes. And I, I'm an individual. I, I come from my family by education. Mm -hmm. My mother was a, a teacher. My grandmother's 80 years old, still teaching. My older brother's a teacher. Younger brother in college should be a teacher. My father was a teacher at a trade school. And I, I decided to go a separate route. I say us, I'm not doing this for me. Who are you like, doing it for, baby? I'm doing it for my family. Like, I want to be able to afford them the world. Like, they teach us. They don't get to travel and see the world. And I'm going to be, I'm the person here, rep, sitting down right here. This interview may not mean nothing to nobody, but it means so much to me because it just, 
confirms that I'm gonna be able to take them to places, let them see the world. My grandmother paid for me to travel to England, Ireland, Wales, Spain, France, Italy, Monaco, and the Vatican on study abroad trips when I was in Go college on, and grandma. high school. And you know what? I'm gonna be able to take her to all those places and she gonna see them all. So it's about us and it's about you too because you was a part of my journey, so. Well, I'm honored to be a part of your journey. <laughs> I am so happy that you come from a family of teachers. My daughter struggled a lot with teachers and mm -hmm. educators not understanding depression or how to deal with a kid who is going through these kind of issues. And there was like one or two throughout her entire school system that um, really understood her and were there for her and changed her life and saved her life. Mm. So I appreciate families that dedicate their lives to changing children's lives and education and trying to make them better, stronger people. And even though you didn't end up teaching, you're teaching in your own way. Oh yeah. It's true, isn't it? It is. Now I got the win, or my grandma gonna make me get a PhD, so. No, ah! no, you just take her on them trips right. now. She'll like it. Thank you so much. Thank so you, me. Michelle. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching another episode of What's Your Packet, and I love y'all. We love y'all. Don't against me. I love y'all. Okay, we love We love each other. Okay, we. <laughs>